Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. The day has finally arrived. We are on our way to Blackpool. Specifically, we're two thirds of the way to Blackpool at the moment. We've just stopped at some services in deepest, darkest Yorkshire uh, to basically grab a cup of coffee, stretch my legs, stretch the back off, and of course, start the vlog. This is the longest car journey Andy has ever been on. It's about, if we were to just drive straight from home to Blackpool, it's about a four hour drive, but with my back, our bladders, my need for regular breaks. There's at least it's at least a two break journey. We stopped about an hour and a quarter, an hour and twenty minutes in, had a little bit of lunch at McDonald's whilst still in Lincolnshire. And we've just stopped again. This should be our final stop. We're about an hour and a half away from Blackpool now. Um let's sit let's see how Andy's getting on. You alright? Yeah. How are you finding the journey? Premier Inn. You ready to go to the Premier Inn? <laughs> yes, we will be there soon. Andy, of course, much better at brand deals than I am. And let's get this out there, front and centre at the start of the video. Of course, this video and the next two videos, or three videos while we're in Blackpool, are sponsored by Premier Inn. They're paying for the trip. Much appreciated. Thank you very much, Premier Inn, for sponsoring these videos. And uh, yeah, we couldn't have done the trip without them. So, big thumbs up to Premier Inn. Andy's very excited. My back is now suitably stretched. I have a coffee to get me through the rest of the journey. It's literally like the size of my head. Next time you see me, we should be in Blackpool. And we have made it to the Premier Inn in Blackpool. It seems like summer hasn't started here in the north yet, or maybe it's already finished. We've just had a little bit of a drive up and down the seafront before we came in, just to give Andy a little bit of a taste of what Blackpool is. We've shown him the tower. He saw a lift going up and down in the tower. We drove down to the Pleasure Beach. We caught a little bit of footage of, his, of us doing that, which I'm assuming, if any of it was usable, because it was all on Anna's phone, you're probably looking at that now over my face. We do, we have hit a slight snag, because when we were showing him all these things and saying, should we do that later? Should we do that tomorrow? His answer to everything was no. Go to Premier Inn, two sleeps, go home. All he wants to do is go into that hotel and stay in that hotel for two days and then go home again. So now we've got him here on his first holiday ever, which is a massive achievement. We now need to, we now need to get him out and about enjoying a holiday. They've got trams, they've got attractions that we know that he'll like. Our plan at the moment is let's get him into the hotel, give him half hour, 40 minutes, just to get settled in, get a feel for the place, and then we're gonna get him out and about. Well, we're all checked in. I am determined not to trash this room the way I normally trash a hotel room. So I've unpacked everything. My suitcase is put away. My bag is put away. I have my whole charging area set up here. I've got my work area set up over here. I've got my Andy area set up over there. It's all pretty much up and running, ready for us to, ready for us to enjoy this I keep wanting to call it a weekend because we're away for three days but it's not it's Wednesday so it's not a weekend at all one slight problem that we've realized we've already done I'm the only one who's remembered to bring a coat so looking at the weather there's gonna be rain so we've identified there's a Tesco like three miles away we're gonna head over to the Tesco in a little while get Andy his back to school coat that he needed to get anyway it's not like yeah, exactly. He was due a new coat anyway, so we've not been completely incompetent. We're going to get him a coat so that we can go out and about if it does rain. It does mean goodbye to the infamous green coat that was his trademark for so long. Um, he has had a green coat like that, the last two coats he's had, so he might end up with the same coat again. And we're also going to get him stocked up on crisps and pop and also some little paper plates for him to eat on because the one issue we had when we were in Nottingham was that because there's just the one table and chair in a typical hotel room, that's where I'm going to sit and work tonight and edit the vlog together, but it's also where he'll sit and eat. 
and I don't like having my laptop on an area that's completely covered with crushed up crisps so we're going to get him some little plates to eat on to try and avoid that situation from happening but it is half past four we're completely settled and in and ready to go out and explore Blackpool Andy is it good yeah we're going to go out soon we have one more sleep We've got to go out first because we need to go and get you some crisps. Uh, in the uh, Premier Inn? No, we're going to go out to Tesco and get some yes! crisps. Andy. Yeah, we're not just staying in the Premier Inn, we've got to go out as well. Yeah. And then tomorrow we're going to go to the tower and go in the big lift. No. Yes, we are. One more. Yeah, we have to go in the tower. Well, one more. Tomorrow. He's not at all interested in tower, doing tower. anything yeah. other than being in the hotel. Tomorrow tower, yeah. Yes. Fingers tomorrow. crossed we convince him. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, tomorrow tower. Because the, the problem we've got is, as you've seen on videos before, the first time he goes anywhere, he genuine, generally hates it. Hates it. Yeah. So we're hoping today yeah, counts as his first go. time going to Blackpool. And then he'll be lying there in bed tonight, having his bath tonight, and he'll want to go places. And obviously we're still here, so he can go to those places tomorrow and Friday. That's the plan. We've got one more tower. We're not going to the tower today. We'll go, we can look at the tower today, but we'll go up the tower tomorrow. And there's a big lift in it. Are you take checking the lights. Um, tomorrow. Yeah. Yes. On, on for Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Thursday. Are we going on? Here we have Anna yes, brushing her face. What? Are we going in the CAR? Yeah. yeah. We're going on the car today, and then tram tomorrow. To go to Tesco. Tesco, I don't oh, we can still go on the tram today if you want to have a go on the tram today. We can go tram today. No, no, okay, that's fine. Just ask him. Um. Should we go down the stairs? No. One half hour drive later. I have no idea where we are. Are we still in Blackpool? Um, we have found a Tesco Extra, which is open 24 hours, which is very handy. So we should be able to get him a coat. Why is he not happy? Ah, uh, yeah. The rain is already starting, which is why we need to get in here and buy him a coat. Um, if we can't get one in Tesco, we do have a Matalan and a Next next to us as well. So we're going to get you a coat and some crisps. It's slightly golfing prices. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Each one that fails leads us to a slightly more expensive shop. If we have to buy him a coat from Next, me and Anna are eating pot noodles for the next three days. He's insisting that before we look at the coats, we look at the toys. Which is unusual for him, because he's not usually interested in toys. It's usually me who wants to look at the toys. Ah, Star Trek. Marvellous. <laughs> well, we're going for that one, the green one. A nice black one. Yeah. Oh. Andy, you need to try it on, see if it fits. Let's see. Let's have a try. Um, um, one more. Uh, one more. Turn. That's it. Looks good to me. Uh, so that one and um, what ages do these go up to? Um, 11 to 12, so they're not big enough for him. What age is this one? No idea. Well, looks like the days of the green coat are over. Very sad. Right, Andy, are you going to choose a plate to have your crisps on? No. Which plate do you want? No. Should we just get a plain one from the bottom? No. You want the plain blue ones? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I would have loved Spider-Man or Minions, but they've got eyes on, so we won't have any of it. There you go, one child back in a coat in his natural habitat. You happy now? Yeah. Good. It is now raining. You're not happy. What's about with you? And I forgot her coat as well. I do have a waterproof Peterborough United bright blue I'm rain mac in the car that you can wear. Well, I am not. I'm, not. I'm wearing my coat. Then I won't be going out. Really. <laughs> We've got to go and buy you a coat now as well. No, I don't know how she managed to forget her coat. She's been telling me all week that it's going to be raining. And then she hasn't brought coats. Crazy. Well, it is absolutely pouring down with rain now after what would you say, about 40 minutes of driving around Blackpool trying to find a fish and chip shop with both a restaurant so we could go in and eat out of the rain and a car park 
with a parking space near enough for Andy to agree to cooperate. We just gave up. We're now back at the hotel restaurant. There's a beef eater here, which is nice. Um, decent looking menu. So we're gonna we're gonna eat here and then probably just go back to the hotel, and have a reasonably early night, and hope that it doesn't rain tomorrow because rain will be problematic because he just won't want to go out in it, which is a problem we've got right now. And it is really throwing it down the rain. Dinner complete at the Beef Eater. The only downside to that place is we've now got to go all the way back to our hotel, which in this weather is a, is a real hardship. But uh, we're back. Welcome to the land of Nod, apparently. Andy has been completely miserable throughout dinner, throughout going to Tesco. He has hated every second of all of it. We're back here again and he's absolutely back in his element because this is, this is what he's used to. This is what he wanted. He wanted this place that he's familiar with, he's been to before. That's why the whole chain hotel thing is really, really helpful for him because it gives him that extra level of familiarity which is then letting him come to a new city and not absolutely, completely hate it the way he would under other circumstances. So, plan now, we're heading back to our room. We're gonna have a super early night. We had a super early start to the day. And then, fingers crossed, we wake up tomorrow and he'll be ready for action, ready to explore. And it should be awesome. Well, I just tried to do a uh, You Now stream, but unfortunately, 4G through my phone in this area, not really up to the task. It keeps drifting back between 4G and 3G. So unfortunately it didn't really work. It is now, it's quarter past eight, and I think we're gonna end things here. Andy's getting ready for his bath and then wants to go to sleep. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. We've had a long day today. It's been a four hour journey. We've all, plus stops on top of that as well. And we're all a little bit tired and a little bit, oh. We've been driving so long today and it's still absolutely pouring it down with rain outside. So I think the plan is we're gonna get a good night's rest, get this all edited together and uploaded tonight and just attack the day tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow, Andy? I'm um, going to the tower. We're gonna go to the tower, exactly. And we're gonna ride up and down in the lift and, then the and we're gonna go on the trams then and we'll, we'll come back to the Premier Inn then as well. Home. Well, we're not going home tomorrow. We're at the Premier Inn tomorrow. What more? Yeah, we're going home on Friday. So uh, yeah, we've got a good day ahead of us and he is finally getting into the mood of it as well because I think he was he was struggling with it a little bit earlier on in the day just because it was so many changes but just being back in his safe space, his comfort zone has allowed him to have a little look at Blackpool on the internet and just generally prepare himself for the day and he's looking forward to the, to the tower now which should be awesome. So we will end things there. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Can you see yourself? Yeah, he can see himself. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for yeah. watching.